Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 18 problem H index part 2. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given an array of citations sorted in ascending order where each citation is a non negative integer, write a function to compute the researcher's H index. A scientist has an index H if H of his or her n papers have at least H citations each and the other n minus H papers have no more than H citation each. For the example given, the input means the researcher has 5 papers in total and each of them had received 0, 1, 3, 5 and 6 citations respectively. Since the researcher had 3 papers with at least 3 citations each and the remaining 2 with less than or equal to 3 citations each, her H index is 3. Let's see it visually. Let's take the same example. So we can see that there are 3 values with value greater than or equal to 3 while other n minus h that is 2 less than or equal to 3. If we change a value 3 to 4, we see that it does not have any effect on the h index. It still has 3 values greater than or equal to 3 while 2 values less than or equal to 3. If we change 3 to 2, the output changes to 2 as now 2 values are greater than or equal to 2 and n minus h that is 3 values are less than or equal to 2. Let's see how to solve it. Let's go through the first approach wherein we will iterate over the citations array of length n. For each citation we check the below condition. Here n minus i will always give you the number of values greater than or equal to the current value. If the condition gets satisfied we return the value n minus i. If we do not get a value satisfying the condition we return 0. Let's see it visually. Working with the same example, at the start n is 5 and i will go through 0 to 4. Starting with the index 0, we see 5 values with the value greater than or equal to 0, which fails our condition as 5 is not less than or equal to 0. So we move forward. Again, our condition fails, so we move forward. This time the condition is satisfied as we have 3 values with the value greater than or equal to 3. So we return 3. The time complexity for this approach is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1. Instead of iterating over the whole array, we can use binary search. For this, we initialize start to 0 and end to n minus 1. While start is less than or equal to end, we calculate the mid by using the formula shown. And if n minus mid is equal to the value of the citation at mid, we simply return n minus mid. Else if the value is less than the citation at mid, we set the end to mid minus 1. Else we set the start to mid plus 1. At the end, we return the value for n minus start. Let's see it visually with an example. Initially start will be 0, end will be n minus 1. And we will calculate the mid. So the mid becomes 2 and the element at mid is 3. Now we check our first condition and see that it satisfies. So we return n minus mid that is 3. The time complexity for this approach is O of log n while the space complexity is O of 1. Here's the code snippet. Also check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about the video.